Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Fates Quickies. Last time we did chapter 20 the easy way and today we're going to be doing chapter 20 the stupid way. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean the hard way. I have some supremely whack plans prepared for this historic clear. Before we get started, I better talk about the enemies on this map because Conquest at this point has decided that it's done playing with playing fair and it's time to go sicko mode. On this map, the slowest enemy that you can find is a 20 speed Onmyoji, and many Onmyojis will hit uh, anywhere from 21 to 23 speed depending on the item that they have. So as a result, uh, you can, uh, you're, you're wanting to hit about 28 to 27 speed if you want to double most enemies. Uh, 27 will let you double uh, 22 speed enemies, so that'll get you the tribalists and the priestesses. 23 speed is obviously for the own Miyochis, so if you want to hit 28, then you'll be able to double most enemies aside from the Falcon Knights and the uh, and the bosses. Moving on to deployment, uh, there's there's some weird stuff going on here. Not only is Felicia not deployed, we also have a grand total of zero staff users deployed on this map. The reason for this is that um, I just cannot spare the deployment slots. You need as many able combat units as you can get your hands on on this map. But not only that, we also have uh, Odin deployed here. And the reason for that is that Leo needs enough speed to double enemies on this map, but we also need Azura to be as free as possible to do whatever she needs to do. As a result, Odin's come out of his retirement to help out here, giving Leo speed and movement along with the potential for us to get him into Swordmaster later on, though I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't hinge your life and bet on that. Um, enemies on this map come with all sorts of skills, ranging from, you know, ranging from, you know, Luna on the bosses, counter, renewal, armored blow and axe breaker on these pegasus um but the most important skill type of skill that the enemies have are seal skills you'll see seal skills on all kinds of enemies seal speed on G seal strength spear masters seal resistance great masters there's a lot of seal skills so you really 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 need to be hitting a uh, one round thresholds um there are some situations where it's okay to not hit one round thresholds for example you see this guy has steals this guy has seal strength but if you were, like, for example, taking care of this guy with a magical unit, you don't really need to one-round him because if your, if your strength gets sealed, who gives a shit? You're using magic anyway. But aside from that, you really want to be making sure you're hitting your one-round thresholds. Anyway, uh, I think that's all I had to talk about before we actually start the map. As always, the preparations are going to be in the description. Let's get this party started. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I want you to realize is this right side right here. Now, you might look at these three guys and look, say, oh, these guys have some pretty good stats. When I look at these three guys, I say, wow, that's some pretty tasty breakfast. So the reason is that if you see these two guys, they're on this little uh, this little island looking place right here, this peninsula here. So that means that if you put somebody on this tile, kill this guy, these guys are just going to suicide on you. For us, that person is going to be Percy. We're going to have Shura rally Percy, and then we're going to have Percy move right here. And then we're going to kill this top guy. Uh, the reason we needed the rally is because without it, he would not be able to one round. At this point, uh, Leo could already move into range of all three of these guys, but we also want Azura, Laszlo, and Sophie to be closer to this general area. So what we're going to do is we're going to pair Azura with Laszlo. We're going to look at Laszlo's movement range. We're going to move Leo right here. We're going to go Laszlo right here. We're going to switch to Azura, sing for Leo. Pretty good level up. And then we're going to put Leo into range right here. And then we're going to have Sophie move out here. And then we're going to separate Laszlo out. Now comes the cool stuff. So Perry is currently on foot with Keaton. And that's just not going to work on a map like this. So let's have Perry move up. Let's give Keaton over to Xander and then pair up with Corrin, who we happen to have a small support point, uh, a small support level with. Then per Corrin can ha take Perry right here into range of this own Miyoji and then have her equip her javelin. Right now, she's barely off of Okoing. She wouldn't be if she wasn't the worst Perry I've ever seen in my life, uh, but she is. So we're going to also have Camilla help her out and then we're going to move Xander and then we're just going to separate out. And if you see, that is the first mess up of this recording. I'm just going to go back and try to redo this again. I have, the, I have a safe state set up at the battle preps. 
Let's go do all that again, because I forgot to put Leo in range of all three of the enemies, and I just put him in range of this person, which is not what I want to do. You want to put him in range of this guy. Okay. Now, on a map as crowded as this, you want to make sure you avoid fucking with the flyers as much as is humanly possible until you're completely prepared. In this case, let's turn on the range of these Falcon Knights and these Kinshi Knights. Now, we want to set up a situation where Sophie and somebody else tag teams together to take care of this own Miyoji right here. Uh, to do this, we're first going to move Sophie, then Laszlo. Then Shura, making sure to rally whenever possible. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have Azura sing for Shura. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have Corin hand Perry off to Xander. Right? And then Shura can dual strike off of off Corin to kill this guy. And then, uh, you know, Keaton's going to ask Xander for his wife back. And then Camilla is going to move out of the way of the wind right here. And as for Leo, we're going to move him all the way to the left here. Because this is going to bait one of this priestess's uh, silence staves. Now, for the next, like, eight turns, Leo's going to basically be bullied by silence staff users. And we can't really do much about it, aside from just live with it, so... Live with it, we will. And Percy's also going to move all the way to the left here. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, um, this didn't work out too well, but we can just have, uh, Sophie take another shot at this guy. This one's, this one's a lot more risky, but, uh, sometimes you don't... Actually, well, the plan was, so... If I was a bit more of a fraud right now, I would tell you, oh yeah, no, uh, you can just uh, you, uh, you can just look at the enemies here, and you'll see that these guys get pushed up, and the only enemies that get pushed down is this this flyer and and these guys who we can handle. So you should pop the dragon vein. No, I just accidentally popped the dragon vein when I was prepping for this map and realized that that shit was that it just helped out. So we're gonna do that. Then this center has been invaded, so we're just gonna take care of that. Xander is going to. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, in this in this uh, in this clear, uh, Sophie just managed to hit her stuff. So whatever. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to move Perry to the top right of this island, and then we're going to move Percy to the tile below Azura, and then we're going to pop the dragon wing with Leo. Now, if you'll notice, Perry's still here, which is really important for us. So, now that we're done that, we can check this out. So, we can dual strike off of Parry. So, these guys have counter. You have to be really careful of that. And uh, Xander's going to dual strike off of Parry and just annihilate this own Miyoji with Calamity Gate. That's fuck up number three. I'll be right back. Okay, now that we're actually back for this time, what we're going to do is we're going to have Xander kill this guy. Uh, he doesn't quite kill with his Beast Killer, but he does with the Neuron Activation, and it's a 93% hit rate, and that's something I'm willing to risk. Uh, we need to get the Oko, because otherwise Xander would have taken 32 damage from counter, and that's just not happening. Um, then, Camilla 
can oh, one round KO this uh, Calamity Gate guy at two range with her hand axe. We Oko this guy. Then we move Corn up. Make sure Corn has the dual club equipped. And then we can attack this guy with Corn. And because Ashura attacks at two range, Ashura never has to worry about counter. Two range physically, he never has to worry about either counter, counter, or counter magic. Now, what we're going to do is, again, turn on this general enemy range because this is going to be a big issue if you just get run into the range so we're gonna have to try uh we're gonna have uh so if we try to take this kill right now it does um 35 damage um we're going to try to have her get both attack two times and hit both times uh if she doesn't hit the first time then you can just abandon having sophie get the kill and give the kill to laszlo instead and if you give laszlo two chances to get the kill and he still doesn't get the kill i don't know how i, I can't help you at that point you need to like find god or something um Speed, luck, defense. Not a bad level up, honestly. I think he just stays here. And here we go. This is the reinforcement squad. Now, these guys are, like, basically not an issue. This dude, this dude is the biggest asshole in this history. Look at his range. Look at his range. This is basically, like, this is like Leo's high school bully, and he's come back with a fucking vengeance. So, this the Falconite Nation has decided that they're going to invade our space, and that there's kind of nothing we can do about it. Um, now, this might look like a bad situation, and you would be right, this really is a bad situation. Thankfully, with some god plays and unnecessarily large movement stats, we can uh, circumvent those uh, issues. So, first of all, we want to make sure these guys have absolutely no say in what goes on in this area. And, um, and they, they're never going to have any say in what goes on in this area. So we're going to go ahead and block them off with Leo. Then what we're going to do is right now. Okay. Let's look at it this way right now. If we activate a dragon vein, a bunch of enemies and our own units will get pushed towards the action, but Perry and Shura, like Shura would like end up right here. Perry would end up right here. And then there'd be this guy would end up going one, two. Like, like, one, two... He, he would end up getting pushed up here. One of these guys would. And that's not good for us, because that means that Perry and Shura would get stranded. As a result, we're going to take Perry, move her... If you see right here, this is the Dragon Bane that we're going to pop this one. We're going to move Perry right here. We're going to switch to Keaton, and we're going to equip the Beast Room, because he's actually more bulky than Perry right now, because he has more HP. Um, because he's healed up to full. And then we're going to have... Shura, move right next to Sophie here. That's fuck up number four. We should have moved Laszlo. I forgot. Yeah, because because the wind is going to actually put... We want we want that tile where Laszlo is to be free so that Shura can move there. So we move Perry to the left of the tile to the left of the dragon main. We switch to Keaton. We equip the beast rune. Um, Shura goes right here and he rallies. And then... Yeah, I think we pop the dragon main now. Yeah, we definitely do. Okay, now that this Dragon Vein is popped, Keaton is in a position where he can tank these guys. They do have se uh, seal speed, but uh, only two of these guys can attack him at a time. And actually, at least one of these guys is going to want to go to attack Camilla. Um, so that's good for us. Anyways, after this, what we want to do is we want to have Niles take care of this middle Falcon Knight. In this position right here, Niles is going to stop being Niles and he's going to become Death, Destroyer of Worlds. And uh, anybody that dual strikes off of him will, guarantee, will probably guarantee themselves a kill on a Falcon Knight. Then Sophie can dual strike off of Niles to... Uh, sorry, Sophie can dual strike off of Niles to take care of this. Sophie's just going to dual, uh, dual strike off of uh, Niles to kill this Falcon Knight. Then Laszlo is going to be able to take it. Because right now, okay, something you need to keep in mind at this point, this, this Shrine Maiden... And uh, of this Bolt Naginata guy can attack on these tiles. So staying on these tiles, unless you have a very good reason to do so, you would rather not do that. Anyways, might as well. Okay, and then once Laszlo takes care of that, Corin can dual strike off of Niles here and take care of this Falcon Knight. Xander can go here and then lunge this top Falcon Knight. So because if he stays here, he's going to get banged bang by a bow user and a magic user, so he's just going to die. But if we lunge here, he gets out of range. And he's still in range of magic user, but you know, there's there's not too much you can do about that. Then finally, we sing for Shura, and then Shura goes right here. 
and we kill this guy. Mr. Silence, but then the other guy comes in and then silences Leo, so. Yeah, I don't know why the enemy order is like that. Why they attack with the seal speed guys after uh, the seal strength guys and why the seal speed guy didn't even attack Keaton. I just don't really get it. Maybe it's because the seal speed guy doesn't do much damage to Keaton? That might be it. Oh, Brynhildr? Pog? Yeah, so... Those guys all have seal res, but Leo also has seal magic, so it basically, like, he's gonna take a bunch of damage on the first combat, but then after that, he's just not gonna care. So, if we we have Shura head back here and take care of one of these Bolt Naginata guys right here, then Camilla can kill the other one. Oh, that's not the right tile. So this is this is just how Chad of a unit Camilla is. That even with seal speed, she still has 26 speed, and she's going to double these guys. So you know, good unit by the way. Anyways, so she's got herself into position where this steel Naginata guy is going to attack her and kill himself on her on play, on enemy phase. Then, because Sophie just got in uh, hexing rotted, she, she, she's kind of useless for the rest of the map. But uh, she's going to uh, pair up with Corin. Allowing Corin to kill this own Miyoji with the dual club. Then you'll see that there's 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 Naginata guys, so you go, okay, that's fine. Corin, you can have your regular axe back, and then we'll kill this uh priestess right here. And then we're and then actually. Now, this is some prime real estate right here. I'm going to have Keaton actually kill this guy. Um, yeah, Keaton's going to kill this guy. Because this is some this is an area of the map that's not in range of the winds. And we can just deal with, just have take up that space right now. And then we can have Azura sing for Shura outside of the winds range, obviously. And then have him go into range of these Kinshis. After we pair him up with Laszlo, probably. Because we don't want him to get dual striked. And then, what's Xander gonna do this turn? I guess I could, I guess I could like unpair up. Yeah, you could just, I could have, just have Xander go here. Well, how much damage does this guy do? 30, 30 minus 19. All right, we'll, we'll be fine. It's just, um, switch, separate. Okay, uh, and then Leo's just gonna move right here. No, Leo's just actually gonna stay here. Okay, let's see. Um, so, after this turn, everybody's going to be bumped up. So, I'm going to put Leo right here so that he can be bumped up to where Hayato is. Um, that should be fine. On the right side... Oh my god, it's so hard to tell what's going on. Okay, so Shura can kill a Falcon Knight without moving, right? And then... Camilla is going to lunge this guy so that she can move into his place. And then what we can do is we can sing for Shura, move him over like here, and then we can move... Yeah, we can move uh, Keaton right here. Oh, fuck. I messed up. I was supposed to I was supposed to chip this guy. Well, what's the Falcon I got? Just got trampled. Okay, I think I just... Go do this. Okay. And then Xander, I think, can dual strike off of this. Yeah, you can get a kill here. So Xander can dual strike, which will allow Niles to open this chest. And then... And then Percy should just, like, hang out, close, like, right here. And then Corrin, we can have Corrin take a tome out of the convoy and then try to bait this silent staff. Now, this situation actually looks dicey, but also just isn't dicey, because you can just run away. <clears throat> so, 
let's start off by, uh, because Leo didn't get silenced, which is awesome, we can actually start off by finishing off this Great Master right here. Um, yeah, this should be fine. And then everybody on this left side can uh, run away with, okay, so just right here, run away, uh, except for Corrin, who's going to go to the right, over, like, uh, like, over, over, like, here, yeah, over here should be fine. Then, Camilla can attack this Falcon Knight at two range, I think if, if yeah, if you attack Camilla, attack this Falcon Knight at two range, because, okay, right now, these guys have become a threat again. So you can only attack this Falcon Knight at two range to take care of him. And if you don't, then the Falcon Knight is going to show up absolutely body as our own. We're not going to be happy with our lives. So, how much HP does Perry have? She has, okay, she has uh, 40, okay, 40, uh, 13, 16 plus 14, 13, okay, 30. Uh, she, she can live. I don't think she has any more, like, relevant combat. Um, so what we can do right now is we can have Camilla... Go attack this. The reason we're having Camilla attack first is because her accuracy is lower than Corrin's accuracy. Which means that, uh, and you, do, you don't have to hit to break the uh, shield gauge, which is good. And then we do this. Kill this Falcon Knight. Corrin's also in range, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, what? It's, it's, it's turn 7, right? So... Better odds is activating turn after this one. So we're not going to do that. So instead, we're just going to go here. We're going to rally. And then we're going to move Perry down here so that she can also get bumped down and we can run away. And these guys are just going to run. Just get the hell out of here. Can I be honest? I was supposed to give him the, uh, the horse spirit this turn. I just forgot. And I'm supposed to have him do some seriously dicey enemy phases later on in this map. So it's going to be even more dicey, I think. So that's that's always nice to see. Let's, actually, let's turn on the range of these guys because these are the guys that we're trying to avoid. We also want to try... Okay, this guy's range is... Like, we just know that he covers the whole map. Okay, so we're trying to avoid those two tiles. Um, Do this. Sing here. And then attack with not the ember. Okay, there we go. Then at this point, these two guys are going to get themselves killed on us. Uh, we can have Shura go right here. Trade the horse spirit over to Leo so that he's a bit more bulk. Rally for him. Give him some, I don't know, give him some more accuracy. And then go down here. Equip the previous rate. Even if, he, even if he was silenced, it's fine because we're taking the same amount of damage and we can just like down him out of there. Okay, uh, this turn is a bit of a mess, but uh, I don't think it's actually that bad. We just have to, we just have to have, okay, yeah. We can have Perry finish this guy off, right? Oh, great. I forgot that level up. Yeah, no. Uh, we can have... Uh, just just get these guys in range. Um, I think... Oh, yeah. I think what we do here is we have Leo take care of one of these guys. Maybe Percy. What, what level is Percy? Sure. He's, he really doesn't do any other combat for the rest of this map, so we might as well... Okay, we go here. Um... You have sure kill one guy. Uh, Azura is over here right now, which is not good for us, except for the part where we can just run away and just, like, go here. Well, yeah, because because these Kinshis are the only ones that are... Well, let's take care of the Kinshis first. It'll open up our space. Um, I'm just trying to think. Can Leo just double these guys? Yeah, he can. Okay, cool. Uh... I'm fine with him losing his shield gauge at this point. Sure, gets a level up. Hopefully, it's a good one. That's pretty good by, for sure, at least. Um, and then, I think we can just have Camilla clear out this place. 
Well, I mean, it would be nice if Camilla could instead clear out this pl this guy, because I think he doesn't have crit on her. Yes. Oh, and watch me not have no speed to double those guys. No, I have enough speed to double these guys. Uh, I should lunge this guy so I can get into his little fort here to get some healing. And uh, not healing, some more terrain bonuses, I guess. Well, I guess I'm a flyer, I can't really deal with that then convoy. Uh, who's left? Xander? Just head over here, man. Uh, so this, one of these guys is a freeze and we do not want to get into range of that, so... And then if we go right here, Azura will also get moved down next turn, which is good for us because she'll come back towards us. Oh, that's annoying that uh, Shura was pushed all the way over, over here. Okay, well, we can just do this with Shura. Okay, at this point, the map is sort of one, but like not really. Uh, we need to figure out a way to... Anybody else in the range of this? Can we just kill? Oh, not quite, not quite. Um, here's what I can do. I can transfer, switch, transfer Shura over to Camilla. Have Camilla, have Camilla go here, because, no, no. Um, Laz is going to get, like, moved up here. So Camilla can go here. In fact, she can go here, switch, rally, go here with Niles, kill, uh, he's, he's above half, and Haito does have vantage, so you want to be careful on that. Um, so we do this, Niles kills Haito, and then, So we move like over here, yeah, and then we have everybody else, uh, one, two, three, oh, that's annoying, um, well, what if you did, yeah, this is fine, so what we can do is we can have, go right here, go right, like, here, uh, yeah, go here with Xander, and then have Azura pair up with him, so that she also gets moved up. There we go. Oh, I think it's time. Oh, I think it's time. Is it time? Uh, yeah, it's time. It's time. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I got the I got the rallies. Well, no, no, no. We gotta take care of these guys first, which is annoying. But these guys are alone, so we can take care of them kind of easily. Uh. And then we're going to also separate Azura, so because we're going to need as much healing on Leo as we can get our hands on. Um, okay. Wow, that's that enfeeble is a real dick move. Oh my, are you serious? Two misses? Two misses is fucked up. What, what was even her accuracy on him? Oh, he has a dual Naginata. That's actually fucking fair enough, honestly. Um, uh, Niles is here. He can take care of one. We're just going to chill out and wait until we get moved back up to this area. And then we're going to make our final move. Oh, perfect. That's this turn. Okay, cool. Okay, here we go. Now it's time for Leo to engage in a really scary fucking enemy phase. Um, we're going to have Corin be transferred over to Leo. Wait. Um... Rally? Where the fuck is Shura? Where's Shura? Where's Shura? Okay, here we go. Switch. Rally. Separate out. I 
think you run Rally Defense on here too. Because, okay, my, my concern here is if I run Calamity Gate, okay, 35. Yeah, that's going to be too much damage, so i got to kill this guy at 2 range. To be fair, I had Leo tanking the same spot at 10 HP before. So, like, I don't, like, if he can tank that shit at 10 HP, he can take it at whatever HP he's at. It's one of the diciest enemy phases I've ever had to set up. Defense, defense, defense. Luck. Fuck. Oh, well, I think that means that the other guy, the other Kinchi Knight is just not going to attack him because it doesn't do any damage. Yep. That's unfortunate, but also who gives a shit? We can just all move up. Um, die. Level up? Ooh. Laszlo level up? I can't believe this dude is still getting deployment. What the fuck? Okay. Um... Sure. Uh, just, just at this point, we're just moving everybody into the wind so that we can get moved up next turn. Uh, well, not next turn, like this end of this enemy phase. And there we go. Who the fuck is left? Leo. Okay, cool. Whatever. Uh, we want him to take on these guys as well because he's actually the best unit to take on basically everybody on this map, uh, at least out of our party. The issue is this fucking enfeeble staff. Um, you know what? Here's the here's the big brain play. Switch to Corin, tank the enfeeble staff. There we go. Now Leo's not gonna get enfeebled again. Goat 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 status. Okay. Um. So my concern are, is these guys right here, right? So if I go here, twenty seven. Um. And, and and if I equip the uh, calamity gate, my hit rates against these guys get gets ass and then also like my yeah uh but stack stacking exists in fates and it is a based mechanic so we go right here yeah 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 we go right here fuck uh well okay we can, we can pair with percy it's fine it's fine um xander goes here rally sure goes here rally laszlo goes here you guessed it, Rally. Percy's gonna have to go here, but it's okay because Leo's gonna be... Oh, okay. Um, that's annoying. Because I, because Leo's not gonna get the Azura Sing. That's, that's unfortunate. I think if we just stay out of this girl, this lady's range, and then we just chill here, and then we equip the Calamity Gate, we should be fine. Because I don't... Do you move? You don't move. You move, but literally don't... Doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, we can just chill here. Equip the Calamity Gate, and then... Yeah. Once you get to this top part of the map, you want to try to make it so that you get pushed up, if possible. Because then, that means that you'll just stay in the same spot. Uh, who's going to attack me here? Bolt Knight, not a guy? Okay, I'll just move here then. <laughs> oh my god. What a legend. The Legend 27? Oh, that, that guy has seal strength, so that's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we're sure. Open this chest, please. 10k gold, baby. Wasn't even worth it. Okay, uh, I got the rescue staff. I haven't gotten the Dragonstone Plus, but we'll worry about that later. Um, kill this guy. Get another Niles level up. I'm trying to, I want to get Percy some level ups, actually. Where's Percy? Where's Percy? Okay, I'll do, um, I'll do switch, transfer, switch, wait, go here. I still don't think he has enough movement to make it, which is really unfortunate. Oh, no, he does. Um, okay, we'll just have Percy, like, chill out right here, I guess. Um, same with Xander. Bro, you're trying to fuck with Niles? This man, this man is trying to die, what the fuck? 
That's crazy. Um, now, I have to... Okay, yeah, this is... We send Shura here. Percy is going to be our Caesar because he kind of does literally nothing else. So that's fine by me. Um, I forget the stat stack that we had for Leo to kill Fuga. I believe it was Niles pair up. So... Xander and Percy are gonna go like right here so that we can have some units that they can help out if, if the need arises um, And as for Shura and Camilla, they're just gonna book it. <laughs> I like how they can make it halfway across the map in one turn Gotta love that unnecessary the overkill movement set Cool Okay, eventually if you go far enough, there's gonna be reinforcements that come out of here and those guys will mess you up so, what we're going to do is we're going to prep ourselves for the, um, the eventual heat death of the universe. No, 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 that, that's, sorry, I forgot. That's, that's, you got to do that in chapter 25. Uh, no, we're going to prep ourselves for the boss kill and we're going to do it like right now. Okay, um, do this. Who else is necessary for the boss kill? Uh, Azura is necessary for the boss kill. So wait, no, no, be because we're not like monkeys and we can, you know, think, uh, Check this out. So there you can go here. She's she's done. She, her job for this map is over. We go right here, and then we have um one, two, three. Uh so we're gonna wanna switch to Camilla because even if she gets knocked up five times, she could just run away again. Okay. Um and turn. Don't tell me okay, that's not what triggers the reinforcements. I don't even know what the fuck triggers the reinforcements at this point. Um 30, 23, 28, 23. Okay, we're good, we're good. Um, we're still gonna go sing for him. Okay. Uh, because I'm an idiot, I I'm actually not in range for seizing this turn. Uh, instead, what we'll do is we'll go here. We'll separate out like here. Uh, and then go over here, switch. Well, okay, you know what? Just to be super safe, I'm just gonna go over here. Uh, and then Leo's gonna go right here. What the fuck is this debuff that's been affecting me? Oh, it's the seal strength, isn't it? That's not what I wanted to do. But yeah, I'm almost certain it's seal strength. Yeah, that's it, right? Oh fuck, he capped magic. What a goat. That's my king right there. Okay, now we can start moving. And also he got some extra healing, so, okay. Uh, how far away is he from, okay, he can pretty much just body the boss right now. Okay, go here, sing, valley defense. Yeah, he's killing. Nice soul Fuga. <laughs> Level 11 Leo, this shit is crazy. Beautiful. And we grab the Dragonstone Plus. Now, I could be like, oh, I'm going to kill this Priestess and then it's going to be Fuga's Wild Drag routed. There's going to be reinforcement spawning. There's no fucking way I'm going to be able to call it Fuga's Wild Drag routed. Um, unless... Yeah, no, I can't do anything about that. Um, nobody else can reach, the, reach this Priestess. You get to live. Well, I mean, I guess it's like supposed to be like a training exercise or something. Here, let's have Arthur seize. Holy shit, that was 55 minutes of recording. I never want to have to do something like that again. I'm not doing chapter 25 legit. Fuck you, okay? If you ask me to do that, I'm I'm not going to block you, but I'm going to ignore you in my mind. Um, Yeah, that was Fuga's Wild Ride legit. To be fair, we did get quite a lot of stuff out of it. Uh, we got some we got some cool stuff. Okay, we obviously got like supports and stuff and I think the most important support that we got was Odin and Leo's C support. Oh, Odin and Niall's C support too. Um, we also got uh, Leo capped on uh, magic, which means that we're going to be giving him a heart seal soon. Now that we have uh, chapter 20 done, you can actually upgrade the staff store and the dusk armory. I have put out the uh, the the poll asking for your questions about the Q&A. Uh, please leave the questions because the next chapter is chapter 21, which is where I'm going to actually be answering those questions. So. If you, if you want to be part of the Q&A, there's no better time than now. The limit is three questions per person. Skill cap? Who the fuck? Skill cap? Look at the skill cap. Okay, sorry. I got, I got sidetracked. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.